Liberia became an inspiration to other African countries. Founded by freed American slaves, it gained independence in 1847, but that was a long time ago. In 1980, the West African nation lost its democratic credentials when a coup marked the beginning of a political crisis. Civil war broke out in 1989. About 250,000 people were killed, and more than half a million people were forced to leave their homes. The war ended only in 2003 with the help of an intervention by the UN. Two years later, in 2005, Ellen Selif Johnson was elected as Africa's first female president. I feel very pleased. I'm thankful to the Liberian people. I'm excited, but I'm also humbled by the awesome challenges that uh, we'll be facing. Then in 2013, Liberia was hit by an outbreak of Ebola that killed thousands of people. Today, two-thirds of people live below the poverty line, and unemployment among young people is still a big problem. Now, another election is around the corner, scheduled for October, and candidates are trying hard to sell their campaign platforms. The difference is that other candidates are seeking for power. They're seeking for power. Maybe they have money, they want power. Joseph Borka is looking for opportunity to give back to this country, knowing where he came from. The outcome of the elections is seen as crucial, key to maintaining peace and sustaining the democracy. Not to mention that 170 years after independence, Liberians want to make sure they have something to celebrate. Fidelis Mba, TLT World.